Hey guys, welcome everyone back to episode 2 of my Minecraft Ben 10 series. Last episode, it took me 56 or 57 minutes to get this bloody fucking Omnitrix. That's because I went straight for it. I'm sorry? <laughs> what did you just do? Oh, I think it detects something. So, in order to level up the Omnitrix, I did say this last video, in order to level it up, I need to actually, like... That's gonna be annoying. Because I'll need... To... God damn, it is very annoying. I can't speak because of it. I think I'm gonna have to quickly put these on smelt and... Because I need to smelt up these oils as quick as possible. We are going to transform into a random alien, but first. I think I got everything I need. So if you see here, uh, we'll go over here. Level one out of zero. So one out of a thousand. That's my level. That's how much XP I need. Just being in the transformation itself will give me the XP I need. As you can see, right now I have one, about ten different aliens I can choose from. I'm gonna hope for the best when I press this one. There we go. Uh. So as you see here, it's leveling up. And right now I have small size. I have step assist, which will only activate if I have the omniverse tag. Knockback resistance. Um. Well, I have water breathing, water crawling, craft. So I can craft for my inventory. Now, I can put iron armor. I am tiny as fuck. Now, if I press tab here, you guys can see a countdown. That's 5,000, right? That is how much or how long I have before this thing decides to go uh, timeout. Ba basically, timeout and kick me out of the transformation. Then I have to wait for it to go all the way back up. Before I'm allowed to do anything. Now, going to the surface is a painful thing. Thing is, I don't exactly have a way up yet. So, I'm going to make a couple set of ladders. In this case, over two stacks. Um, probably should get some wood. And grab some trapdoors. And I'm going to go up. Well, at least I can go inside there. Okay. Man, I can jump high. As gray matter, I can jump quite high. And I quote, I am tiny. I have to keep an eye on my timer because with the way it's going so far, I can only mine four blocks up. Unless I do it like this, which is a little annoying in my opinion, but what I'm actually doing is apparently gray matter can climb the wall. So I'm climbing the wall. I don't think I take full damage. Okay, first of all, you're in the wrong spot. I don't understand any of these lightning strikes and why does it keep happening? There's a question not even I know the answer to. It turns out if I don't am I looking at two thousand currently? Ugh.
Ugh. I'm so tiny in there. I don't like it. Don't get me wrong. I love being tiny at times. Although, I could not imagine. And I don't want to imagine. What would it be like trying to create an exit while being like forearm or something? Is he a big alien? I'm at 900 currently. Alright, um... Let me go here. Timer is getting close to running out. 600? So, you see how there's the arm that tricks thing on the back? That should glow red once the timer gets further down, and then I should start going human again. In this case, whatever the hell my skin is. And I'm waiting for it to just a... Just say, you know, yeah, yeah, you're gonna die. I should start... soon? Now? <laughs> And as you can see, the Omnitrix on my hand is red. Because it's now in timer. As you can see, I got up to level 4. Now that's amazing. I think there's a wolf forest, I don't know. The problem with having ladders is like... I'm gonna need them, so forth. I'm gonna need a lot of shit. Now, I do want to try to get started on something. Okay, let's see. For every knight armor requires steel. Steel's annoying to get in this game. The plumber armor. Black stained glass and cyan stuff. Plus the black Triforius Palmer. We could, yeah, cyan dyes, lapis, and cactus gray. Oh god. Um, compass. I have it. I know I do. Do I have sap? Okay. Wood. I think I need the actual logs. It's night time. Mm. But yeah, we need to go back up and we need one. Well, the reason why I created the ladder was because to get up easier, but again, it just takes so long. I wonder if there's a mod that speeds up the ladder process. From correct, it was nearby here, or something around here. I did the, yeah, I think it was around there. I did as I needed. That should be coming. Oh, that there. Yeah, we are recharging the Amatrix quite. The Amatrix does work. So if I was to punch in the master code, which I'm not planning to do so quickly, will trigger them. Like the Amatrix will be. Hang on, I have a theory. Is it the uranium? Full of lava. I don't know. It just makes a big impact every time I go near one of these. Um, I need iron and redstone. So, what the? Proof. Uh, we'll create a second one for the ability to EMC it. So, you know, I do like EMCing whatever I have. Um, that should help us find a desert. Considering that we were getting close to uh, 
we get to do this and that. That is a desert. It's pretty decent, uh, pretty big distance from here. I got nothing. That That sound is obnoxious. So we'll do that. Yeah. So basically, that's really all I need. I do need glass, which is why I need sand. And then I need ink sack, which is not that hard. All right. We'll go out this way. I have an axe to fight with. 5,200. This is going to be a while before I can actually, like, max out the Omnitrix, because I do want to max up to level 40. 40, 40 is the max on every Omnitrix. And I can't decouple without the... Oof. Well, that was fast. Faster than I expected. Alright. Are you chan- What is the chances of me getting a flyer? Let's try it. I think my game is a little broken right now. Alright, give me a sec, guys. I'll be back. Alright, we're back. Hopefully this works. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you kidding me? Really, game? Really? I'm four arms. And the only ability I have unlocked. Other than the fact that I'm protected by radiation, strength, resistance, big size health, is wall crawling. I don't... I don't even have the ability to turn baseball. You need, like, I think... Do I need to become base form? I think it is, yeah, level 30 before I can just randomly turn into base form. Okay. I can run fast. Um, I've got step assist, which is good. I don't swim that fast. Ooh, let me punch the skeleton. Can I punch the skeleton? Sir. I think I might have to cross the ocean. Hopefully I don't. Because I'm stuck in forearms. But... If I do... I don't know if I'm going to be able to fit in the boat. I don't even think I could use the boat. Now that's left me with a curious question. Can I use a boat as the current alien I am? Let me find out. Nyoink. Link. I'll take that with me. And if so, is it goofy looking? <laughs> that is so goofy. Oh, that is goofy. That is very, like, it's just goofy. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> when a sheep like sees oh I, I'm not even the right oh. this is a pro happy forearms is I'm gonna have to like either climb over the tree or walk around it I don't have my extra jump height yet as forearms. Oh no. I, I have to cross an ocean. Oh no. Oh no. I don't like the idea of crossing an ocean as this big man. <laughs> this is goofy. Ooh, wait a minute. 
big punch. Did I get enough XP to unlock that? I did. Level 10? Level 25? I got big punch. It is sort of slowly going down. So there is a little lag. How do you lag on a single player world? That's not actually hard. Considering Heroes Expansion is a deadly mod. <laughs> but still, the way I sit in this boat, it's hilarious. The weird part is, I'm just only traveling across the ocean, so just because I have a desert, because I need cactus. It just, this just freaks me out with the way when you look down on the boat, you're not there. Oh, look, that's an island. This big ass man. This would be scary. You're on a Minecraft world and this big ass alien is sitting on a boat traveling across the ocean. My sound stop. I heard the water sound just stop and I'm like. I think I'm getting close to the Omnitrix timing out. Which is a bad thing being in the middle of fucking water. I also don't want to test timing out while I'm in a boat. I'm afraid this is going to crash me. So once it hits around 200, I'm going to hop out of this boat and stand on it. Because I don't trust the idea of being in it. Now this is normal. This is normal. So negative three thousand six hundred and eight, which is not that hard to get to. It's just I need one thousand nine hundred. I didn't even realize I'm going east. I thought I was going west. Found an island that I thought was a desert. I should we just be able to travel the rest of the foot. I am stacked up on armor, so I just don't like using armor in alien theme. It just looks weird. The thing is, I know that if I actually click, hang on, is that a meteorite on my map? There's something over there. Like, I know this digs me, like, way off course, but still. It's, I think it is a meteorite, but what is it? It's a kryptonite meteorite. Let me take the kryptonite. Is that all of it? Some up here. Nope, no kryptonite fossil. Damn it. The reason, if you guys don't know, okay, so something I was experimenting earlier was, I experimented a couple of days ago with this. Like I said last video, use the kryptonian fossil and scan the DNA and boom, you got kryptonian blood. But you need the element. The, uh, the tricks, which is the Omniverse Omnitrix, to do so. Oh my lord. Uh, not so far, of course, it's telling me to go south. I think that's the desert there. I have found the desert. There's also a ravine in the desert. Three thousand two hundred. I should be able to get a third, maybe fourth transformation this video. They fight back. Well, they're not really fight back. They bit me.
Welcome to the desert. I'm just trying to see my chance if I could find a, um... Oh, while well, I'm here. Press the vein mine button. Just trying to see if I can test my luck by finding, um... A temple. Which, I doubt it. But I did find a village. I will take that. Oh, I haven't even activated the waystone near my home. Uh-oh. Not near my home. I have a waystone that I stole from a village. Oh, boy. I'm an idiot. I'm gonna have to die again. Okay, hang on. Come on. Okay, we have that active now, which means... Wow. Obviously, we're here. Okay, I'm curious about something. Is that the tower? I think it is the tower. There. Alright. There is no lava nearby. But there is a bloody ravine. I'm gonna jump in it. There we go. It's the only way I could get bloody home. Oh, wait, I have it EMC'd. I'm gonna do this. Home. That's why I can use it as a way of transporting out. Okay. Put some sand in there. Oh, I put these in without realizing I didn't put any coal in. Dumbass. Damn, there are times I'm very dumb at this. Okay. Uh, we can't smelt that. Do I need a armor? I need to take a loose armor. Hey! We got it back again! We'll do it once I make my plum armor, because... Um... I have... Lapis. I need that. I need that. I do need leather. that. So a click on that, that, um, that. And then we go that, creating silent die, put that in there. Boom. Glass, and then combine that with the other. Ink sack. Oh, I need glass around, that's right. So if we circle glass around, we'll create that, creating black stone glass. Plumber helmet. Oh, I need light gray. And then gray's ink sack and bone meal. Do I even have bones? I do have bones. And then we need, uh, leather and plate. We can use this, create the gray one. Uh, gray. And there we go. We created plumber gear. Which then we can pull out. 1,000. These have more. Like, literally, this has more EMC than normal stuff. How cool is this? That is cool! Hello. Hello. <laughs> this is cool. That is cool. Alright, so. Yeah, I can't smell this. We have this. Oh, this. Oh, we'll grab the boat. I already made a boat. Right, head back to the desert. And then... First, I'm gonna take my helmet off. Ah, fudge me dead. I'm wild, but... <laughs> this is my vision. I got daredevil vision. The advantage is... I have spidey sense.
Right now, I don't have these yet. I need to level up, or oh, it's certain things, right? Like, wall crawling XP. Apparently, it's locked. Ultimate. There's an ultimate form of this. Oh, that's right, because basically in the original series, there was an ultimate. I was going to see these guys through the ground. Man decided to give me hunger, even though, and I quote, I can't really do much with what I've got. I think this hasn't loaded in yet. <gasps> Fudge me dead, I'm not to kill myself again. Wow. Parkour is a thing that I can't even see. Cool. I want to try to avoid dying as much as possible. Well, that's a savanna biome right here. Oh, yes. That's definitely a savanna biome. I can see footsteps, for God's sakes. As well, I can see a lot. But still. This jump height, first of all. Oh, this is lava. Crap. It also kicks me out of form when I'm dead, but still, I did not see the lava there. In that form, this is the reason I hate it so much. Why I hate Walmart so much. On the other hand, there's one thing I do want to do is... Um... Oh, I had my pants on the entire time, and I didn't even realize. Hang on, press control. Radiation protection, water breathing, tough lungs, energy beam. I don't have energy beam powers there. Uh, but I have water breathing and radiation protection, which means even if that thing was hurting me, which it doesn't. Alright, um, I do want to check out that SFP building we found a while ago. First of all, let me remove all my freaking deaths. I do have a possible hand waypoint as a, you know, Possibly. Ooh, wait. I have an idea. Sand and gunpowder. Sand. Times gunpowder. Okay, let's rent some TNT. Cool. Uh, do I have a flint and steel? Oh, I need to create the Mobius steel first, uh, which is coal and the stone. That's the way it goes with that, and then that. Mobius steel is the second highest. So, if I was to do TNT. Create a Nova Catalyst in here for that. For that, combine with a flint. Boom! Something that's like worth 14,000, which is understandable. And then if we grab gunpowder, while we wait for the Omni Trickster, it's almost fully charged while we wait. Okay, flooding imminent. But get the point. While I can wait, I can mine out a lot of this stuff to hopefully get more EMC. I am really low on EMC. That's why. Right. Alright, who the fuck do I get? Are you fucking kidding me? More? Yeah. 
Oh, wait, what the fuck? I am a giant freaking furnace. I took my freaking furnace and became it. So, I can morph, right? Um, basically, it gives me the thing. I have energy being much. I don't get into a level 15. I am level 7. Okay, and the problem is, I am tall. Uh, so, uh, how much torches do I have? I should have the ability to get 64 out here. Good. Okay, this is the kind of thing I quite want. Let's move through. main reason I can't fit in my home is because I'm too tall right now, and I do have to take into consideration, hey, I want to have a tall baby. So if I'm to, you know, live here for a while, the best I can do is create some extra room. So I can then go up here, go up here. Now, this will take me out. Which is probably why I won't do that way. Or through there. I'm working on my home while I'm a giant tall mechamorph, as the galvanic mechamorphs known as. Get the gist of it. I wonder if the silverfish are still over here. I think they despawned. In my opinion, is a good thing. Despawned silverfish. Should be good. why I eventually have to need a, once I get enough EMC rocking, I need to generate my own idolization e uh, EMC and then get started on, what's my call it, let me more gunpowder. Look, over a stack of freaking stone. I also need to make on a bed. I'm about to transform back human. I mean, look at me. I'm so tall. It's terrifying. I should just transform any second now. <laughs> Thank you. 
This doesn't end in an ugly scene. Wait a minute. One of the things I should, and I know that earns me a lot of EMC, I can't even create yet, because I need a lot of titanium. Too much titanium. But are you okay on the tricks? So once I get up to like I don't know maybe level twenty, which is halfway point, I'm gonna start by messing around with the Pacific add-on I have, which is this the genetic randomizer. Which I quote needs nickel. I have not yet to find nickel. But genetic randomizer. <laughs> Randomize the uh entire genetic sequence. You okay on the tricks? It is really like going on the fritz. I'm gonna go to the end. No, no, not the end. The nether. No. I don't really want much in the nether. But the aether is something that could be very useful to me. Because the aether has the reality stone. Once I get the infinity gauntlet and the reality stone, I can have mass duplication. Depending on how long it takes me to load back in. Because this is why I don't like jumping between dimensions with the Heroes Expansion mod. If you have too much, and a computer like mine doesn't seem able to handle it completely. Keep up, we'll be like, hey, okay. I want to go explore. Basically, explore. Alright, welcome to the nether, or as I like to call it, hell, because it is tabled, it is literally labeled hell. Hell is the deadliest place on earth. Safe on earth. Alright, there's a lot of, there's a draconium all there. Hello, you pigman. Here's a funny part. I could get a random alien transformation, and the best one I can think of that's in the net that would be work best with the nether. Is that a freaking fortress? It is a fortress. Oh my god. Is heat blast, because one, blazes are fire. And as we all know, blazes hurt. And having the ability to uh, be immune to fire. The thing is, though, I'm pretty sure I'm correct on it. Is what if, for whatever reason, the Omnitrix prefers me to choose the top alien? Which I want to quote is the one thing I have been refusing to do the entire time. Are they trying to shoot me? Let me just do this for a second. I think they just spawned instantly. All right, there's a wither skeleton here. Ah, crap, there's more. Did I just... I think the Omnichicks just made a little bit of a boo-boo. <laughs> oh, I think something like similar to this self-destruct of the Omnitrix was triggered. And instantly, the Omnitrix did not like it so much that it decided to explode. <laughs> I did not expect that. Not even the slightest. Oh my god.
Look at the album that you're just like, yeah, I'm just gonna blow up now. Go my me. <laughs> I did not expect that. Because I turned into a green bomb. Eh. I do know of the Omnitrix self-destruct code. Let me give you guys a list of the codes I have. This way you guys understand what I have on the notepad. The notepad contains the master control code for each Omnitrix. The ability to turn the Omnitrix, the recalibrated Omnitrix, and the Alt Matrix into a better version. And the ability to go back. Uh, oh. oh, hi. The ability to uh, unlock certain aliens, like the Omniverse gives me a specific version of one. Okay, here's a theory of mine. Yep, I thought so. As you can see, I am Heat Blast, which means I'm immune to fire. In my opinion, is the best alien to come into a fortress with. Because you're immune to fire. These bastards can't affect you. Which also means that I want to die by fire, which would be possible. Okay. I'm also very strong. Hmm. Hello, Blaze. I'll take that. So, the ability to have is throw fireball, flare shot, fire punch, fire blast, and then N is just defaultly active, which means I have the ability just to defaultly absorb fire. I also don't take damage. And if we go over here, he has a calf resistance, fire resistance. Uh, I have to be level 30 before I can fly. I mean, the ability to fly with this alien will be amazing. The thing is, being in the nether, I have to keep an eye on the Matrix's timer. Otherwise, I may screw myself over. Oh look, I got soul sand. Okay. I don't want to jump into lava and then eventually f time out while I'm in lava and I burn to death. That sounds like a terrible thing. I threw a fireball at the enemies. That's one thing I did do, was throw the fireball at them. Which made that massive explosion. So this is a uh, the, the, the shot, which is a small one. Fire punch and a fire blast. What does blast do? Oh. It just doesn't stop for a while. Last pretty decent time. So the only way I would ever be able to find the Aether in this place is if I was to randomly come across it. Best thing about being immune to fire, I can jump into lava without being affected. Because, you know, like... Is that another fortress? I think that's another fortress over there. That's another fortress. I only have 2,000 on my timer. Which is a bad thing and a good thing. Good thing is, if I die, I go home. Bad thing is, if I die, I can't loot anymore. Well, I mean, it could. I mean, I could easily defeat it with a little skeleton. It's weaker to me. I'm not going all the way down there just to come all the way back up. 
you go to hell. Oh yes, this is the one lava block room I always find. He gave me a book. 800. Which is a bad thing. Because I'm about to run out of time soon. I need some normal skeleton. So I'm going to yeet him off the cliff. Uh, time to run out of clue. 500. Another fucking fortress. Alright, time to go down here. It won't be hard for me to get it leveled up, but I want all the armor tricks, so that's the challenge I have. <laughs> Which means I have to equip my, um... What is it? Yeah, my chunk's there. I'm gonna go to there. Whoa, that's a big amount of fortress. I didn't know I, that was a big fortress, and that's another fortress. Because it's the second one I've seen. Third one, technicality, but still. Who's counting? I do love how pigmen don't get annoyed at me unless you have a yes sword. But I have, it doesn't really matter because I have enough, um, blaze powder. In this case, blaze rods, because I only need one. Looking on the map, part of the fortress is massive. Screw into lava, which I cannot do because I will die and should have just bought a freaking waste of it. Oh look, there's another part of another fortress. It doesn't connect to this one. Because, you know, why not? Should I grab more glowstone while I'm here? Because I think I had enough. Oh, wait, I grabbed glowstone from the. The what's it called? It? I don't want to. Don't put it to the side, put it on top. It's a lot better idea than putting it to the side. Thing is, finding reality stone is going to be a problem. I should probably more likely just kill myself, get back and... I hear the sound of another fucking blaze. I don't want another blaze. Everyone knows that hell is always on fire. But you know, hell can be your friend. Kill things in here and you'll be fine. Go down, go down, go do, 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 do. I don't take full damage at certain times, which is the intriguing part to me. Like, why don't I take full damage when I jump off a freaking cliff? And then there are times I do jump off a cliff, I walk off a cliff, I take damage. I jump off a cliff, I don't take damage. Like, what causes that? That's another bloody fortress. The fuck? Usually I have the worst time finding a fortress. But for whatever reason. 
them everywhere. Like, look, there's another one there. It doesn't understand me when it comes to this, is how hard it is. Usually, I'd have to use the structure compass, which I do not have installed. And the structure compass, ow. To find the fortress. There's a gas somewhere, and I don't like it. Oh, look, that lava is falling. What will we ever do? I know. Oh, God. Come on, put out already. My boots are the only thing that's taking damage. Okay, if you're not, I'm gonna go for... Oh my fudging god, it worked. I actually was going for Ghost Freak, and it gave me Ghost Freak. Dude, I'm a ghost. Could I be the next Denny Phantom? <laughs> nah, <laughs> I'm evil. Sadly, the only thing I can do is phase through objects and... What is it? Um, Go invisible. And that's really all I've got. It's all I'm allowed to do. What the fuck is this? Ugh, cobalt ore. Alright. Let me have a look at something just quickly over. Okay, I don't like the idea of doing this, but I'm going to do it once. Because, you know, just want to... It's not the southwest east. Wanna go in a completely different direction. So if you see I got phasing and invisibility. It's all I've got. As well as being ghost freak, I have literally what is it called? The invisibility. Wait. That's the way I want to go. Ay ay ay. Four thousand. In this case it's like four minutes, I think. Oh, that's going to be terrible if I uh, time out in the middle of the flying. I'm just going to fly up a little bit. Because, you know, I don't want to. Oh, it, uh, oop. Think of first the game. Oop, it, uh, we're responding. We're back again. The game decided, you know, it was a good thing. Okay, I'm gonna go this way. Let's follow the lava. Which is a terrible idea from what I've said. But you know, when do I ever listen to myself? I am flying around. So let me get this straight. North from the portal is fortress, 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 fortress. South from the portal is hell, hell, hell. I don't know. I'm waiting for the fact that I may need food. The thing is, though, the best thing I like about Ghost Freak is eventually I'll be able to, like, possess people. In this case, possess villages, bodies, animals. If it was people, I don't know if I can possess people. Hey, look, there's a ghast. <laughs> Oh, there's another one. Oh, my lord. Wait. 2,700. We should be good for a little bit. Good, because I might go a bit more east. I think east is the way. Problem is, I don't like what I'm looking at. There's like a, a massive pit of lava pools. There's land there. Telly ho, land has been found. Hey, look, it's another freaking fortress. Yeah, my game is not lit. Like, I can hear my computer going at it because it's like, hey, for once, could you just stop? Stop here, let it render. And let's go. Give it a little break, let it render. Oh, yeah, oh. 
See, a lot of people, guys, I don't, you guys probably don't know, I don't have a powerful enough a computer for this. Where? Where is he? It says there's two of them. But where would they be? Oh. Ooh, there he is. And there's the second one. Hello. Oh, I'm gonna have to fight him. I'm not of time. I do not have the best alien for this right now. Holy crap, he is fast. <laughs> He's fast. Although he seems to have pissed off the zombie pigmen. See, he's too busy focused on me, and the zombie pigmen want him dead. What has he done to them? Oh, guys, he's beating the crap out of me. Did he shoot something at me? I think he shot something at me. Oh, he is shooting. That's one. And there's another nearby which scares me. And my time is gonna run out. I'll literally just create myself a box. I just don't know where he is. And I know I have to fight him. So I have to fight him to get the stone. Is there a possibility he's up? This is probably the most interesting fight I've ever had with him. This one says speedsters, and the other one was craft essentials, and I know that one has like, I think a frosty Thor's hammer. That one was doing, um, actual attacks. This one? Alright, he's dead. Wait a minute. I just got two aethers. So, in other words, I have two lanterns. Alright, I don't want any damage my things too much. So here we go. So every time I get close to death, the Omnitrix is triggering like a massive bomb exp That sound will get very annoying. I uh, something related to Tinker's contract that I never ever will deal with. Okay, let me just... 
quickly do something. I'm gonna put my helmet on. Ugh. Hiccups. Uh, this is the speed one. This is the crack sanctuary. Christ phone, activate, uh, has exploded tag, and has pushed you to use it. What is it? Oh, Dude, I literally have two stones. The difference is one of them is very more shinier than the other one. I need gold and titanium. I don't have much titanium. Well, it's like next video, I'm going to work on getting titanium. So I can make me feel good. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I uh, hope you guys see you guys in the next video. See you guys later. Take care. Goodbye, everyone.